You're watching Open House. Today I'm coming to you from a one-of-a-kind townhouse on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. This beautifully renovated home is the perfect marriage of warmth and cozy meets sleek and chic. Inside you'll find restored original details including pocket doors, wainscoting, and gorgeous fireplaces. Impressive floor-to-ceiling windows flood this four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath home. Let's get started in Los Angeles at the Hollywood home of interior designer Marjorie Scurris. She's become known for her signature luxury lighting fixtures. In fact, we've seen them in many homes here on Open House. When asked to define her personal style, Marjorie says it's rooted in the traditional, but over the years her design aesthetic has become more playful. Take a look. Hi, I'm designer Marjorie Scurris. Welcome to my house in Beechwood Canyon in the East Hollywood Hills of Los Angeles. The style of the house is technically described as French Normandy, but it really incorporates several different styles. There's Spanish influence and there's sort of English overtones throughout the house. And it's provided a brilliant canvas for the evolution of my work, which initially was very classical in terms of the style. And over the years, it's evolved into something fairly whimsical, which I'm very excited to be able to share with you. Come on inside and let's get started. From the moment you walk in the door, you can tell this is not going to be your average home decor experience. From the front door, which is inspired by a 19th century French damas, to the moss-covered closet doors, which are a home for my gemstone beetle paperweights. The walls uh, were painted to mirror the color of the Aegean Sea on the floor. And finally, the chandelier, which is called the flamingo, and incorporates all the colors of flamingo feathers. There are no rules when designing for oneself, which is part of the fun. That's the credo that we follow throughout the rest of the house. Just off the entry to the right is the living room, which is the most interesting room in the house in that it incorporates so many different layers of both period and design, and everything was influenced by the beautiful 18th century Venetian settee and the pair of glorious Aubusson portieres, which are from France from about 1865 with their original trim. Apart from the obvious hot pink walls, the greens and the teal blues play themselves out both in the upholstery furniture, the trim on the curtains, the trim on the pillow, the gorgeous Murano lamps in the 1960s, and my collection of Malachite objects from around the world. On the left side of the entry, we enter the dining room, which, as you can see, is representative of the free spirit of the rest of the house. The color palette in this room was dictated by the black onyx and green jade Ompere chandelier that I designed many years ago, and led to the black walls, which in and of themselves were fairly boring, until we hit on the idea of the chalkboard paint, which immediately brought the room to life and set the tone for the rest of it, including the malachite mirror, which is called the Marjorie mirror, and our beautiful sconces, which are blue agate, called the Marta sconces, which I design, and the fabulous oyster bar, which is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever created. It's like in the dining room, there is a great set of French doors that lead out to the terrace. Since we have limited outdoor space in this house, almost every inch is used in one way or another. And we virtually live outside in this outdoor room for five to six months of the year. It's the outdoor living area. Joining me in the den are Violette and Sultana. Hello. The seating arrangement mimics rooms that one would see in Syria or Morocco where most of the seating is against the walls. And here it was tailored to be multi-purpose. As it's the media room, we need some place to put drinks and snacks and dinner trays. So we chose a very typical style of a table that you would find in the Middle East. And what sets them apart is that they are hand gilded in 24 carat gold. Overall, it's just a great room to hang out in with friends and family, watch movies, play games, have dinner, and of course, sleep over. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm delighted that we were able to share our home with you and that it in turn encourages you to be fearless in your own homes and step out of that beige box.